hey what's up baby girls how's everyone doing welcome back welcome to another video so today we're going to be working with a milky white nail design and it has a little bit of leaves a little bit of glitter a little bit of 3d so yeah you guys let's begin um the tips that i'm using on today's video are my 3xl coffin tips and these are available on my online store just in case you guys are wondering and I still do have a 40% off on everything. So in case you want to go and get yourself something from my online store, um, use code BESTIE40 for 40% off your purchase. Um, I'm also using my number 14 Kalinsky brush. I still have some available. So in case you want to grab um, a brush, you want to try it out, I do have them available still. And this one, this acrylic, you guys, um, this is a brown acrylic from my Coffee Trio. And um, again, everything is 40% off. So if you want to get your Coffee Trio, it comes with three brown um, acrylics, one ounce. And this is one of them. It's called Espresso, okay? And like I said, it's a trio. It comes with three uh, colored acrylics, brown acrylics to be exact. And um, yeah. Yeah. You guys can see here how I began like around the apex area and I start to bring my product down towards the tip of the nail and um, this just kind of helps me get the perfect apex you know what I mean because it's building that apex without you adding like way too much product so I begin there bring everything down and then I work my way up second bead above that first one and then my last bead would be around that cuticle area making sure that I am not touching any of that skin and if I do I just go with my brush and remove it very quickly before it dries that's gonna prevent lifting you guys okay so just make sure you are not touching any of that skin moving on to my ring finger I'm gonna be adding two glitters here the first one is a holographic glitter and this one is from Jacqueline Costa I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram but she does bomb work and also she has her online store and I got this holographic gold glitter a while back you guys and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use so I brought this one out and like I said this one is holographic and I also brought another one out which is not holographic 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 hollow <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> so um yeah I went ahead and uh, added my first glitter like I said this is the one from Jacqueline Costa and like I said it is hollow and then I'm gonna go ahead and add on top, I'm going to go ahead and add the other one, which is from Harmony. Um, it's been a while since I've heard from Harmony, you guys. Do you guys, like, use their products? Have you guys heard of them? What do you guys think of their products? Because, honestly, like, it's been a while. And um, that glitter from Harmony is a dip. It's for the dip system. It's a dipping powder. Um, but I honestly use it as acrylic. I've always used it as acrylic. And, um... It's, it's wonderful, you guys. What can I say? It works really well with monomer. So, yeah. Um, and I went ahead and placed that a little bit of that glitter on top of the holographic glitter that I, that I previously used. Now, moving on to my index nail. Here, I'm going to be making like half and half. Like, I'm going to be going in with this milky white from Two Guys. Um, I do have a coupon code with Two Guys, you guys. I really love their products. They are very beginner friendly. They're just really, really, really good products, you guys. Very high quality. And um, like I said, if you're, a, if you're a beginner or you're more advanced, it doesn't matter. They're perfect for you because honestly, they're very good products so i'm using their milky whites and i forgot to mention that i am also using their monomer which smells really nice it has like a sweet scent and um i love it you guys so yeah i will have their store linked in the description box below as well as my coupon code with them 
So now I'm going to be going in back with the with the holographic glitter. And I'm going to, again, be doing kind of the exact same thing I did with my ring finger. So I went ahead and placed a small little portion of that on the other side of that half and half that we just made. And um, then I'm going to be taking my um, Harmony glitter. And I'm going to be adding a little more on top of that. I, like, I didn't want a lot of holographic going on, but I didn't want like a whole bunch of like just shiny glitter i wanted like a mixture of, of both if that makes sense so now now here on my middle nail i'm gonna be going in with that same milky white and just kind of adding it here on that cuticle area of the nail and i'm not gonna be adding a whole bunch of um milky white you guys um and then i'm gonna be going in with a little bit of glitter of both glitters and then at the tip of the nail i'm gonna be adding another bead of that milky white like i wanted the center to be kind of crystal clear but with a little bit of glitter in there if that makes sense okay now i'm gonna be taking these little leaves you guys and these leaves are so pretty because they're like textured um, and they do, like I said, they do have texture and they look so, so pretty on the nails. I got them with Honey Fan Nails um, last year and I had not used them and I was like, you know what? I need to use these. These are so pretty. I have to use them with one of my designs. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use them today. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna keep on using them because I really love them, you guys. I freaking love them. So I'm gonna go in, be going in with three of those little leaves and just kind of placing them right there in the center where we added a little bit of that um, glitter. And um, now it's time to cap, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and be using my acrylic from, well, my crystal clear acrylic from Not Polish, which is amazing, you guys. I really love, I genuinely love that crystal clear acrylic. It does not move. Like, um, you go ahead and place down your first bead and it waits for you to actually go and mold it and just blend it down. You know, it doesn't like run everywhere and it's, you know, it's a mess. No, you guys, it waits for you to come and mold it and blend it and everything, whatever you need to do with it. And that's what I love. So yeah, I also do have a coupon code with not polish. The link will be in the description box below as well as my coupon code. And you need to make sure you cap everything because, of course, we do have a lot of things going on here in this design. We do have glitter. We have um, that half and half going on. And then we do have, um, what's it called, the little leaves. So you need to make sure that everything is secured and nothing's going to move whenever you come and file. So, yeah, make sure that you cap everything. And here... I'm making sure that my beads are a little bit more wet than usual just so that the acrylic runs through those little crevices and there's no like air bubbles going on, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing right now. And yeah, chicas, I guess I will let you guys watch this part of the process because honestly, there's not really much explaining to do. So yeah, I'll catch you right now in a couple of minutes. <laughs>
Okay, baby girls, so now moving on to filing. Of course, we need to file, so I'm going to be going in with an 8080 Pana nail grid file. You do find these on Amazon. They are super amazing for shaping. I would highly recommend either the 8080 or the 100-100. Both of them are great for shaping, and especially those sidewalls. So, yeah, if you want a very crisp shape, make sure you use these because, honestly... They're the best. <laughs> so now, like I said, I just go in and remove like any acrylic stuck underneath the nail, making sure that the sidewalls are not that, you know, like crooked or anything like that, making sure it's very nice and straight. And then I'm going to be going in with my five in one fine drill bit from Not Polish. And like I told you, I do have a coupon code with them just in case you guys want to get your hands on this drill bit because it is really good. And um, I do go around like the cuticle area just making sure it's nice and flush. And then I work my way downwards. I go ahead and debulk the nail, making sure there's no lumps and bumps, um, making sure that the surface of the nail is pretty smooth. Um, and then I go along the side walls of the nails just to crisp up those shapes. So that's pretty much what I do, you guys. You've been seeing this um, like literally on all my videos i've been liking to leave this part in because i noticed that a lot of you enjoy this part you guys so i really don't want to remove this part and keep on leaving it for you guys so uh don't worry i'm gonna keep on leaving it <laughs> for any of you that you know this part is helpful to you know so yeah like i said um i go ahead and just debulk the nail making sure that the side walls are very nice and straight nice and crisp um and that's pretty much what i do you guys so i'm gonna be doing this for the rest of the nails Now going in with my 150-150 nail grid file. This is to kind of further buff the surface of the area. It just kind of helps me have a better 
like a smoother surface you know what i mean so i never really skipped this step i always try to do it and honestly i did see a big difference in my like in my filing so if you guys haven't tried it go ahead and try it um i really like how the nails um turn out at the end when you when you're done filing so i don't like i said i never skip this step um but anyway these are just like the steps that i take you guys it doesn't mean that this is the correct way or this is the way you should be doing it um this is just what works for me and um these are just little tips and tricks that i share with you also yeah i go in with my 150 150 just to further shape to kind of remove any harsh lines that the drill bit might have left behind and that's pretty much what i do and towards the end of course i go in with a buffer so this is where i go in with my buffer and these are just the regular black and orange buffers i really love them you guys because sometimes it like it leaves the perfect surface um sometimes if you leave the the nail way too smooth and you will be working with let's say gel polishes they will tend to just like lift okay so just make sure you don't do that leave them super smooth but not super 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 smooth if that makes sense so that's why i like these buffers because it just leaves the perfect surface to my nail to work on so after that of course i go ahead and remove any dust little particles and then i go ahead and clean with a lint free wipe and a little bit of alcohol so now I'm going to go ahead and take my matte top coat, which are available on my online store. And I'm going to be applying it on my pinky and also on my middle finger. I really wanted those two nails to be matte, so I went ahead and matte them out. And then I'm also going to be taking it on the white part of my index nail so here i'm adding my shiny top coat here on this glitter and like i said i'm gonna be doing this one like half and half so of course the glitter is gonna be shiny and then the milky part is gonna be matte so then i go ahead and cure that and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my mat and make this part matte how many times have i said matte so after that's done i'm gonna go ahead and cure it on the lamp for about 60 seconds as well and then and now i'm gonna be adding some crystals here and there um i didn't add like a whole bunch of things you guys so i just went ahead and added a brown crystal here in the center because of course this design has a little bit of brown and then around that i'm gonna go ahead and add some ab crystals and of course on my pinky i'll be showing you part of that 3d that i made so i'll be showing you like half like three or four little um flowers that i did there so yeah i didn't i did it like all throughout the nail and i did add some crystals just as guide and also because it looks pretty <laughs> so yeah you guys that's pretty much what i did to the nail design so i'll let you guys watch this part of the process and i'll be back
So after I was done with all of that um, 3D, I just went ahead and added a little bit of cuticle oil. And the cuticle oil that I used is from my online store. It is a rose scented cuticle oil, which I love. And this is the end result, you guys. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll be reading you in the comments. So yeah, you guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and supporting this channel. And welcome everybody who is new. I have been receiving a lot of new subscribers. So thank you so much. Honestly, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. God bless. And bye-bye.